Hi guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. It's episode number 73. Man oh man, 73 episodes into the Road to Glory. That is ridiculous. 73 episodes on YouTube, you know. If you've missed them, go watch them. This is the team that we've got so far. Sat with about 1.45-ish million coins, which is mental. Obviously waiting for Team of the Year. Um, so yeah, and also it's of course Christmas Eve. Eve if you want to call it that. We are two days away from Christmas. Which is mad, like, this year's just gone so fast, of course it's not been the greatest year for everyone, and obviously I hope everyone stays safe and stuff like that, um, for the rest and beyond this year, because um, obviously it's not been the greatest, as I've said, um, so yeah, just let's enjoy Christmas, and then uh, start the f new year fresh, obviously, um, the thing that's going around the world right now, affecting everyone, is still going to be about, we've got to be careful, and you know, just... Anyway, we're going to just talk about FIFA now because that's what you're here to see and do and whatever. So, we get we get the prime... Uh, oh my days, I can't speak today. We get the prime uh, players pack for the Premier League in the season uh, progress thing. As you can see, I am level 28 and I'm quite far into 28. Um, I will just decide in what to do with 27. So, obviously, you could have picked Prem, Bundesliga or La Liga for your options as the 45k pack that you get place from all that one league and I've gone Prem because De Bruyne, Alisson possibly, maybe Van Dijk, Trent and Robertson are all possibilities for team of the year. Obviously you could even throw a man in there but I doubt it, you know, you've got Robert Lewandowski, Neymar, Ronaldo, Messi uh, and Neymar of course. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of different options that you could go with, um, so I've gone with Prem, just why not, it's just Prem in it, and I think there's more high rated players in the Prem as well, obviously being a more popular league, it's more of a hyped, uh, there's players like Mahrez Mar that are 85 rated, do you know what I mean, so uh, it's decent little fodder, and as you can see on the screen here, we are doing a draft by the way, you know, if, you, if you're not looking at the screen, you're just looking at me, what are you doing, look at the screen, as we just get ourselves a freeze Bernardo Silva, I really want this card, you know. He's actually sick. He's only about 500k. Um, and he's mental. Uh, but also, I was right about yesterday. Dembele and Elliot Allen and St. Maximin are now both in the game. The breaking controllers left, right and centre. They're like 2.7 million coins for the pair. Uh, if you want to pick them both up. Which is ridiculous for two players that are, what, 86 rated or something. I'm not too sure. Uh, and Dembele's only really had a shooting upgrade. That's really about it for him. Obviously, St. Maxim has got a massive shooting boost now that he's a striker compared to a winger, which is fantastic because when we had his inform, that was probably the, my, my main concern. He only had 74 shooting or something like that. It wasn't the greatest. So I'm happy to see him get a shooting boost. Uh, so continuing with this draft then, I mean, we get a Liverpool back line of Matip, Gomez and Alisson, which is quite nice. Um, and then, you know, it's just a decent little, I mean, it's, it's a decent little team, you can't really complain. Jao Cancelo to add to the multiple um, Man City players that we've got already in this draft. We've got, what, four? Um, and also, uh, is it Rule Breaker, Douglas Costa, who I absolutely love. Um, he's absolutely incredible in this game, even on 7 Chemistry with a Shadow, not even a Hunter. He's absolutely incredible, and you will see in this draft why he's so incredible. Um, now, honestly, my game i swear i don't know how this happened it lagged i promise you i went left to pick pogba because you probably sh like shouting at your screens like why didn't you pick pogba yes kimmich is a strong link to um to douglas costa but he's only going to get himself seven chem and it affects obviously um tellers around him as well like we literally could have swapped him with fred and then put pogba on the right hand side but you know uh, my brain didn't work and it malfunctioned and somehow my, um, I think my PlayStation like froze or something. Anyway, the next pick we're going to get is Foot Freeze Terrera. Another great Foot Freeze. I really like that card. Maybe not as a left back. Like I, I played him CDM in game and he was very, very good there. Obviously being very small, there's not going to be many headers. But he's got that agility to turn away from opposing centimetres like you. Graven Birches and like your Pogba's and stuff like that. He's got more agility than them. Uh, and then we do get a Werner, which is fantastic. Yes, he'll be off Kem up front. However, it's Timo Werner. He's 86 rated. He's great in FIFA. He's awful in real life at the minute. He, like, what is going on with him? The guy's missing sitters left, right, and centre. His confidence is just through the floor. And obviously, he's not used to the like so many fixtures like in a row. So obviously, in the Bundesliga, 
there's a lot more breaks and you don't really get midweek and then Saturday, midweek, Saturday, like you're doing like the Premier League and stuff like that. So this is how I think we're going to line up in game with Torreira and then Lozano out wide. But we don't actually do that. We are going to start, I think it's after like the second game or the third game, we put Gomez to CDM to start with and then we put like Walker at centre-back and then we switch it in game. So we have Walker to right-back, Gomez to centre-back and then we push Cancelo into CDM. So we only have to bring one CDM on which is Torreira uh, for Fred or whatever. Uh, so this is the first game we are going to come up against, he's got like a son uh, and I can't remember what else he had to be honest with you, he's a Rangers fan as well uh, and we're just going to go through this game to be honest, first game of the draft, why not, it should be quite an easy win, uh, first first draft games are always quite easy to do and as you can see uh, Bernardo Silva and Jesus are linking up quite well straight away, Fred's now on the ball, does a bridge and we've, are we going to score? Yes we are! And guess who it is? It's Bernardo Silva. Gets a goal literally two minutes and two seconds on the clock. Like, it's fantastic. What a start to the draft. And as you can see here, this is what we do. So we swap Gomez uh, to centre-back, bringing Cancelo into the midfield, pushing Walker out to full-back, and then bringing on Lucas Torreira just for the time being. And then the second half, we do bring on like a Lozano because Mares will be tired. And then obviously we bring on... Who's the other sub? Um, or is that it? I don't know. Anyway, we're just going to carry on with this game. Um, is he going to get a, an attack here? No, he's not. Right, this is what I'm on about. Sorry about that. Uh, this is what I'm on about in the, one of the pre previous episodes. It's the defensive awareness of some of the players. Like they just don't. They just stand there like idiots when it's kick off. Like they need to react a bit more. They don't really seem on it. If you know what I mean. But anyway, we are just going to uh, continue with this game. Now, five minutes on the clock. We're looking to obviously get a second goal. Uh, can we get one? Well, Douglas Costa plays it to Rara, plays it back to Douglas Costa. As uh, if you didn't see, Jake joined the party, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, Bernardo Silva, what's he going to do? He's going to bridge it again, but unfortunately, uh, Virgil is there to just basically clean up the pieces and get rid of it. Um, so then, Timo Werner, what can he do? Well, Hyun Min Son, he's on, he's on the left, obviously we know how good he is, he crosses it in and it's just getting deflected, it's pinging, it's ponging, that should be a free kick to be honest, but it's not, we'll move and we'll take on, and now Bernardo Silva has a chance to attack, we played a lovely one too with Jesus and Bernardo Silva, they're both um, Man City boys and he does put us 2-0 up now, he scored both the goals in 11 minutes, like what a king, what an absolute player. Um, so that is class, 12 minutes on the clock, 2 and up, brilliant. We could maybe see a rage quit here if we get like a third or a fourth before like the 30th minute. That is a shocking tackle by me. He's going to go through, but Alisson makes a great save there. Very, very lucky to see like Werner have a terrible shot there. That should be going in the back of the net if it's a better opponent. Uh, and then Torreira gives it a Zeus. Can we get a third? No, we can't. Well, what is that from my opponent? Anyway, Virgil rescues the ball, Jao Cancelo's off on a run, he's got his pace, what can he do, he's going to find Douglas Costa wide and again we get tackled, that is just, we. I shouldn't be doing that either, I sometimes back myself into a corner and not really know the second ball I'm going to play after I've played that one if you know what I mean, you've always got to be like two or three moves ahead of your opponent to win this, to win games of FIFA, um, because you know you just go out, play them and outsmart them, anyway, Werner comes in from an offside position and luckily for us he's called offside so 17 minutes on the clock we retain the two goal lead um, and we're going to look to attack once more what's going on here I have no clue oh yeah um, I'm an idiot I was, I was trying to speak to uh, Big Jake and um, my my um, mic was just not plugged in so you know we move is where it is anyway Jesus to Bernardo Silva back to Jesus and Bernardo about a million times, what the 1-2s are, they're OP okay, man, and that is 3 nil. honestly, the link up between Cancelo, Jesus and Bernardo Silva there, getting Bernardo Silva's hat-trick as well, that is class play, and it does force a rage quit, what were we, like 26 minutes on the clock or something like that, I'm, I'm actually not too sure, um, no 19 even, Jesus, I didn't realise, we had 3 shots, Scott or 3, Bernardo Silva being the king, and then, you know, uh, I don't know if I showed this like a few episodes ago, but we have completed foot for his volund, don't know why, Just it's going to be fodder at the end of the day, but it could help towards objectives with like, German first owner, uh, and stuff like that, for icon swaps maybe, I don't know, anyway, and then we also see a foot freeze, Kappa which came out yesterday, um, while well, Bradford City were demolishing Grimsby, 2-1, uh, absolute quality results, two amazing goals, anyway, 
We are going to complete that kappa. As you saw, we are on with it right now. This is the team that we are going to use to complete it. Felix and Dembele are just going to run the show. Of course they are. We're going to use that solar as well that we've got in red pick at centre mid. And I do. I I do. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to play. Um, why not? Uh, so, yeah. What we're going to do now. Oh, yeah. SBCs. Right. We see this Awa. I've used this Awa. Holy. I scored seven goals with him from Cam. It was in friendlies, don't get me wrong, but he's insane. Like He's got a mad long shot, mad finesse shot as well. Absolute quality player, and I'm thinking about completing him on the road to glory because we've got a lot of French players. We've got Alessandrini, we've got Sissoko. Yeah, he's not the greatest. He'll probably won't be in his team forever, but we've got him. Mukiel, Koundé, you know, we've got a lot of options, and this is literally the the requirements. It's 185 rated squad. It's like 100k for this card. It's a ridiculous card. And I genuinely think I'm going to complete it. Then there's obviously Lala as well that can link to him. It's a strong link in there. But we have got Alessandrini. Maybe we, I don't know, fit him in on 7 came at right back. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll have to find out and see. Uh, and then we're just going to score a cost to, I think, Awa's loan and probably complete him. Uh, maybe. What, what am I looking for here? Yeah, there you go. Awa. Are we going to complete this squad? Well, um yeah, of course we are, because look at the requirements. He's one French player, one gold player, and minimum silv, sil silv, silver with 45 chemistry. It's a piece of absolute pineapple, honestly. Um, so we're going to complete this now. Um, pretty sure I just like skip to the end because this doesn't work. Um, putting most of my like higher rated silvers in. So we'll skip to it in 3, 2, 1. That, that just didn't work. Um, there you go. Uh, Paradise is the gold player, and then the rest are just silvers. I'm pretty sure most are untradeable. Or like first owner, we had to pay for one player, which we paid for to do Voland. Um, it was that striker, that non-rare striker. Anyway, we've now got Hasum. Uh, Hasum? Is it Hasum? I don't actually know. Um, it is. No, it's Hussein Awa. Sorry. Um, there you go. So that is the striker back into the club, and that is gonna end off this episode to be honest with you so if, if you did enjoy give it a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow for a possible hour unlock but we'll definitely go and get that um whatever it's called i can't remember the cdm kappa there you go right i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow peace